paint, paint, paint the house, make it nice and white. Merrily, 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 it'll be a lovely sight. Hey, Mr. Wilson! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Wilson. I came over to say hello. Why can't it ever be goodbye? Gee, Mr. Wilson, your door's stuck. I know, Dennis. It's taped shut. No, Dennis, don't open it. Gee, Mr. Wilson, you look just like the guy in that movie, The Mummy from Outer Space. <coughs> you sound just like him, too. <coughs> I can't hear you, Mr. Wilson. Let me unstick you. Mouse! That's better. Oops. You look different without your mustache. This might be a good time to move to another town and change my name. Dennis, go home! I beg you, please don't help me. But Mom says you should always help your friends. So I better start by getting this new rug of yours out of the way so we don't get paint on it. No, Dennis, that's not a rug! <clears throat> Where'd you go to, Mr. Wilson? Well, wherever he went, he's going to be surprised when he sees how much I've done. Dennis! Gee, Mr. Wilson, what are you doing out there? Oh, no! How do you like it so far, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> it's just like finger painting, only with bigger fingers. No! Dennis, stop! That's pretty good, but I know a lot faster way. I saw this on TV. They spray painted it with a vacuum cleaner. It wasn't a vacuum cleaner. It was a paint sprayer. The hose goes in this end, and I think the paint goes in here. Oh, Dennis, don't! Stop! What? giant ball constructor. I better put in more paint. Not that paint. That's for the kitchen trim. Grab it, Dennis. Grab it! Let me get the tape off so you can help. Wow, you look just like Mr. Cavallini's barber pole. I'm not at all surprised. You, George, open the door. Oh, no. It's Martha. When she sees this mess, she'll have my scalp. <laughs> Looks like someone already beat her to it. George, please open the door. I'll get it, Mr. Wilson. No, Dennis, don't. Thank you, Dennis. Whew. What a narrow escape. Oh, no! Good work, Mr. Wilson. I'll shut it off. No! That's the reverse switch! No! Look what you've done! You ought to feed it more often, Mr. Wilson. It sure is hungry. What was that? Good heavens! What happened in here? We've been doing some inferior decorating. George? George Wilson, you show your face this instant. Here he is, Mrs. Wilson. Surprise! <laughs> Hello, dear. I've never seen anything like this. This is nothing. Just wait till tomorrow, when we paint the kitchen. Oh. George, my boy, you're a genius. All finished. And before that little pest, Dennis is even out of bed. Huh? What? 
Who moved the paint cans? Hi, Mr. Wilson. I'm here to help. Why me? Are we really getting a new car, Dad? It doesn't cost anything to look. Well, looks like you got here just in time. Would you mind parking that piece of uh, car across the street? Dad, is he saying our car is junk? Well, actually, it does have a few miles on it. Try light years. Welcome to the 20th century. Ta-da! The all-new Fire Whammer 8. Boy, it sure is pretty. Believe me, with this baby, you'll feel like you're floating on air. It is a nice-looking car. Of course, it's strictly for successful people. Then there's the three-and-a-half-cylinder sputter pot. It's for less-than-successful people. You're successful, aren't you, Dad? Let's take the big one. Er, um, I think we'll look the fire whammer over. A wise decision. Oh, boy! We're gonna own a real fire whammer eight! Vroom, vroom! Oh, wow! Look at all these buttons! Wonder what they do. Young man, don't fiddle. I wasn't fiddling. I was buttoning. Don't buy it, Dad. The steering wheel's busted. It's adjustable, Dennis. It's supposed to do that. Stop that, you little bra uh, boy. Give me that wheel. Sure, mister. Here. Oh, no. Look, Dad, it's a glove compartment with real gloves. The better to strangle you with. Dennis, that's not a toy. And what's this little button for? That's to wash it. <laughs> the windshield. So how come you're using it to wash your face? Uh, could I look at the engine? Certainly, sir. As you can see, it has a turbo-powered torque density motor with rotary piston hydraulic valve lifters. Oh, uh, sure, I can see that. I bet this baby really purrs. Oh, you want to hear it? Actually, it's a very safe car. You must believe me. I believe you. In fact, I'll buy it. You, you will? <laughs> One with a steering wheel, of course. Of course. Well, Dennis, looks like we bought ourselves a brand new car. Way to go, Dad. Find out if it comes in purple and yellow with green polka dots. Congratulations, sir, on being our 1,000th customer this year. That entitles you and your son to a prize. A prize? Oh, boy, I love prizes. What exactly do we win? You get to visit our assembly plant, where you'll see your very own car put together from beginning to end. Oh, boy, let's go right now, Dad. Not so fast, son. Your dad has to sign a few papers first. Follow me, sir. I'll be right back, Dennis. Did you hear that, mister? Me and my dad are gonna take a trip. Good. I hope it's a long one. Hey, here's a button I never noticed before. I wonder what it does. Wow! What a neat idea. It must be for parades, so you can see over people's heads. Help! Get me down from here! Hang on, mister! I'll get you down! Maybe one of these buttons lowers the platform. Wow! Oh, wow! Just like a merry-go-round! <laughs> Merle, don't you ever knock! Sorry about that, sir. By the way, since you're the one who sold the 1,000th car, you get to give the tour of the plant. No, oh, how wonderful. Gee, mister, isn't this great? Now we can all be together again. I know, I know. What have I done to deserve such a cruel fate? Mister, when do we get to drive away in our new car? Not soon enough for me. 
Meanwhile, we'll start our tour here in the Automotive Design Center. This is our next year's model. It's completely computer designed. Look, Dad, a giant sized video game. I want to play it. Now, Sonny, you mustn't touch anything. Oh, wow, that's neat. Please don't do that. Now you've done it. Did you hear that, Dad? I did it. What did I do? What you've always done, driven me bananas. Driving bananas? What a great idea for a car. <laughs> now, that first one there is your car being built from scratch. You don't have to do that. My mom will put in the scratches. Now, Dennis. You'll notice the entire process is done by computerized robot-like devices. Now I'll show you the generator that supplies all our electricity. Boy, all those sparks could be dangerous. I better do something. Wait! This door can't be opened from the inside! Dennis, come back! Maybe if I adjust these controls, I can make it safer. Guess that wasn't it. Must be these buttons here. Nope. That isn't right either. I bet this'll fix it. Dennis, open the door! And leave that machinery alone! Looks like we're stuck in here. Maybe if I boost you up to that little window, you can get it open. It's worth a try. Okay. <clears throat> Climb on up. <clears throat> oh. I've got to get back to the showroom before I get killed. Boy, looks like these robots need some working on. Hurry up and open it. I can't. It's stuck. I really put my foot in my mouth when I made this sale. Now I think I've got it. Dennis! Dennis! Try climbing out. I can't. I'm stuck. Hang on. I'll push you out. <sighs> Mr. Merle, something real funny's going on. Oh, no! What have you done? Well, first I hit these two buttons, but that didn't seem right, so I pressed these. That's not where that belongs. That's not where any of it goes. Maybe I should have pushed these two buttons at the same time. The plant's ruined! I'll be fired! Gee, mister, it's bad for you to get so excited. You'll get all red in the face. Well, I was close. Thanks a lot, mister. We'll see you next year when the new models come out. Next year? <laughs> Great, Dad! We're gonna have the only car
are in town that's purple and yellow with green polka dots. Great, Dennis. Just great. It was a day like any other day. I was killing time in my office, just waiting for a case. Business was slow, but I had a hunch someone would walk in. And I was right. It was a beautiful dame. What are you doing, Dennis? Just playing detective, Mom. I'm worried about Ruff. I haven't seen him for a while. Would you go look for him? Ah, uh, Mom, he'll turn up. Young man, you find Ruff, and that's an order. I decided to take the case. I never could say no to a gorgeous dame. It was time to question a few suspects. My first stop, the fat man. I knew I had to get his attention, and fast. Hi, Mr. Wilson. I'm looking for Ruff. So am I. That hound tore up my prize azaleas. I had a theory the fat man could have dognapped Ruff out of revenge. And the day started out so nice. <laughs> I had to find out what the word was on the street. I searched out Joey the Kid. Hiya, Dennis. You don't need a haircut, do ya? No, I'm looking for Joey. He's right here. Hiya, Dennis. Joey, have you seen Ruff? Uh, I, I saw him yesterday, I think. I could tell the kid was clean, but I wasn't so sure about Cavallini the Clipper. What about you, Mr. Cavallini? I saw Ruff about two hours ago with a French poodle. It was the same old story. Cherchez la femme. Suddenly, something caught my eye. It was a hairbrush with Ruff's hair on it. How do you explain this? Dennis, don't touch the equipment. <laughs> This wasn't getting me anywhere. I'd have to dig deeper. Too Tall Jay knows everything that's going down. How's it going, Dennis? Not so good. Ruff is missing. Have you seen him? I can't rap now, Dennis. I got a game tomorrow. He wasn't talking. I saw I'd have to lean on him a little. I'll play you one-on-one. -on -one. Winner gets all his questions answered. You got yourself a deal. Ow! Sorry I had to get tough with you. Now where's Ruff? I saw him near Margaret's house about an hour ago. The case was getting stickier than melted bubblegum. Hiya, Margaret. Dennis Mitchell. I'm not talking to you ever again. Normally, that would have made my day, but this was different. I need some information. I'm looking for Ruff. Forget it. I had to get tough with her. Okay, where's Ruff? Get that disgusting creature away from me. Not till you tell me where Ruff is. It'll go lots easier on you if you talk. All right, you win. I saw Ruff at my friend's house five minutes ago. Which friend? The girl with the French poodle. The French poodle again. All the pieces were starting to fit together. She's moving away today. Moving away? I'd better act fast. <laughs>
took a fall in this business. You gotta take a few women. If you let them, they'll drive you doggone crazy. Come on, Ruff. You'll be okay. I'll buy a doggy bone. Yeah. 